Right now I'm editing this video that you're watching basically on the moon. I have my music set up over there, just paused while I edit. Then I have Final Cut here, which is running on my Mac. And this is really the way to use it. You can see that if I turn down my environment, there's my MacBook, there's my keyboard, there's my stuff on the wall. But when I go to the moon, that's where I really like this. And watch how huge I can make my Mac display. And I could even take that. I can just reposition it wherever I want. I can bring it closer to me. I can put it away. Now let's get into the video and how to set this all up. It's awesome. I'm in my office right now and I'm wearing Apple Vision Pro. As you can see, I can get closer to it. I can back up. And I want to connect it to my MacBook Pro. I haven't done this yet, but I updated my Mac to Mac OS Sonoma yesterday. So apparently it's just supposed to pop up. So I have two screens, as you guys can see. And I'm going to hit connect. And I believe right now it only does one screen on Vision OS. So I'm curious which screen it's going to grab. It looked like it grabbed my larger monitor. And I can move that. I'm going to move it right above the keyboard. You guys can see the shadow on my desk, which is crazy. But let's say I put it right there. And now I can work, let me mute that. I can work just like normal with my Mac. So if I want to use Spotlight, I could type here. And then I can also move this. So let me grab that, I can move it wherever I want. Put my Mac on the ceiling if I wanted to. I could resize it. Whoa, I can make it huge, that's giant. Or I can make it a really small display and I can move it closer to me. So I can have this tiny screen floating on my hand or I could push it really far away. Okay, so let's say I just put my computer screen right here and it's tiny, but let's say I want to add other apps because right now it only lets me do this one monitor. I like to have dual monitors. So I'm gonna say, hey Siri, hey Siri, open Safari. So it just opens Safari in Vision OS. Safari is not actually open on my computer. If we look here, Safari, if I go on my computer, is open to a different page. So it's not controlling that Safari. Let me make this bigger for you. It is controlling, come on, grab. It is controlling Safari in Vision OS. And then if I want to open another app, I could either tell Siri or I can hit the home screen. Let's say I want to open the App Store on my Vision Pro. It's going to open that window and I can move that wherever I want. So let's say I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So now I have Final Cut and my computer over here. I have Safari over here and I have the App Store here. Now the cool part is your keyboard and mouse can actually work for the Vision Pro. So if I look over here and then I move my mouse over from my Mac, see it's on my Mac, over to the left. It took me a few minutes to figure this out, but basically if I look over here and I want to use my trackpad from my Mac, I can do that. I can even click on this and I can use my keyboard. So I could go to youtube.com, type it in, and it shows up. Now the interesting thing is that I can't use my wireless mouse. So if I want to, I'll show you, I'm looking there, I'm using my two fingers to scroll here on my trackpad, I can move around, you can see this white cursor. But if I use this, I can't scroll, I can't move it, but the trackpad works just fine. But it's interesting because this Logitech keyboard, if I just look here and I, let's say, click into search, I can type with my Logitech keyboard. See that? All right. Let me close this preview. Let's go to the App Store for Vision OS. So if I select search here, again, I can move my cursor from my trackpad, but this mouse doesn't work. And same thing here. I could click and I could type. So, hello, my name is Ben and my regular keyboard works, I can even hit enter, and I found some apps. So that's it, that's the first time setup. You can't do multi-monitor with a Mac yet, but you can do a Mac app, or your whole Mac rather, and you can do various apps on Vision OS, and you can open, I guess, as many as you want. So I could even throw Keynote over here, if I'm working on a presentation, and hit continue, and there we go.